Who is Dennis Woodruff? Dennis Woodruff is an actor, a person, a human being that came to Hollywood to become a movie star. What a beautiful day it is. Hollywood. They're gonna put me in the movies They're gonna make the big star out of me Howdy, howdy, yahoo! We'll make the film about a man that's sad and lonely And all I gotta do is act naturally I drive this limousine to promote myself. It's a big car. I can stay in it at night. It also says a message on there, give me a part so people can hire me. So people know that Dennis Woodruff's purpose in Hollywood is to get a job. Biggest star that ever hit the big screen. And all I have to do is act naturally. Howdy, I am the Hollywood cowboy. This is where I work every day. Nice to see you, thank you. Go ahead, take pictures, that's great. You think I'd be a good movie star? Yeah. Would you take our picture, please? I must go now. Thank you. I am a famous actor who is right on the verge of being discovered. But the funny thing about me is I'm already famous before I'm famous. Now that's a plus factor for anybody that's looking for an actor. Nice to see you, Russia. I love you. Where are you from? Japan. What? Japan, of course. Nice to see you, England. Best wishes to Queen Elizabeth. I love you. Finland. Oh, that's great. I'm from Hong Kong. Hi. Wonderful. Probably not that many producers walk by or directors or casting directors. That's the only problem. Every day I'm here with the tourists. Um, once in a while, some, someone will walk by. But um, they could be skeptical, too, about what I'm doing. I mean, like... What are you doing wearing these stupid signs? I've never seen an actor wear these signs before. Well, I say to them, you got to have a sense of humor in life. Limousines are for movie stars, and every actor should have a limousine, at least one. I live in it, I sleep in it, I eat in it. I have two limousines now. Everything I own, I must tell you, this is what you see is what you get. I've been in over 200 movies and TV shows doing non-speaking parts. And I consider that part of my experience and part of my paying my dues and learning on the job training. Today, I have an audition for a movie. Not every day is like this, unfortunately. But it will be. They're gonna put me in the movies. They're gonna make a big star out of me. The biggest star that ever hit the big screen. And, and all, all I, I gotta, gotta do is act naturally. naturally. Take some time to take your dramatic pauses, if that's what you want to call it. Okay. Three, two, one, rolling. Slate, please. Dennis Woodruff. Okay. Let's 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 just go back to the beginning for a second. Why are you fixing the pool? Did you fall on your head or something? Somebody's out there trying to make a fool out of you and doing a damn good job, I might add. Hey, fuck you, Julian. Fuck you, too! Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Nice job. Appreciate it. Okay. Good luck. Okay, thanks. If I were casting a movie, and I saw me walk in the office, I would cast me for the role. I'd say, that's the guy I want. Hi, welcome to Hollywood. Dennis Woodruff, how are you? Nice to see you, everybody. Hi, how are you? Way over there on top of the roof. Don't jump. Sometimes I save lives like this. Every actor knows they're going to be real famous. Uh, it's a matter of getting over the obstacles to get 
to the point of where you want to get to. And that's the way it is when you're an actor. One day you're living in your car, worried about where you're going to buy your next hamburger. And the next day you've got so much money you don't know what to do with it all. I guess I'm, a, I'm living on impulse because I sold both my cars and I don't have them anymore. And I'm trying to reinvent myself. I'm really trying to reinvent myself. So I sold them and one of the guys that bought them is a pig farmer. We saw the advertisement of the car in the auto trader and the boy says, hey, Dad, we need a car to drive to school. So I says, hey, boys, let's go after it. So that's what they did. We picked this limousine just because I need a school car, and I've always liked cars that are kind of junk and a good time. So we just picked a big car to have a good time in. We bought this car from Dennis Woodruff for $800. The yellow one I sold to some Mexican lowrider. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. He's into his own trip. I wish I could preserve it the way it is, but uh, unfortunately, it, it, it cannot be. I think I'm going to invent a new one. I just bought a small car, which I will decorate. I've been asked to do a British TV show called Hollywood Men, so they said they'd pay me to create the car to be in the show. I didn't want to do it. I kind of wanted to let it go, but people want to see it. They want to see that part of me. So I guess I'll keep portraying the struggling actor until I can move on to bigger things. How are the signs? Came to pick them up. You tell me. All right, they're great. Yeah. These are good. I got the money for you. Oh, that's good. Are you all there? Yep. Yeah. What do you think? It's you. Hey, boss, what do you think? You like it? Great. Guess he has to eat now. When I sold my yellow Cadillac limousine, I had a sign on top of it, and uh, the man didn't have time to give it back to me when he bought the car, so now we're gonna go down there and pick it up. Oh, the Woodruff Mobile is right behind us now. No way. There it is, right there. That's it. All right, I'm so happy. That car is like a part of me. Where are we? Oh, hi, Dennis. Yes. How you doing? Oh, oh, I man. saw you off the freeway. I really? couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah. man. My that love machine. I was looking at my car. I, I missed it, yeah. it. I went a couple of weeks ago to a car show. And okay. uh, I took your car, but, you know, not to participate. I just went in there, you know, and uh, I parked and I started walking around looking at the other cars. And some of the judges, they came and they said, you know, that the car was so cool that even though I, I was not a participant, they wanted to give me a trophy and stuff like that. A trophy? And, yeah, and I have it here. You're so kidding. I do not think I deserve the trophy since it was your job. So therefore, I would like you to keep it. Wow, so that let is me so come cool. And give it to you. Yeah. Life is full of surprises. For me? This is for you, man. I can't believe I've never got a trophy in my life. I feel that my cars are works of art, even though I'm not trying to create a work of art. It just kind of is, you know.
someday, if he were to hold on to one of my cars, it would end up in a museum. Emma Fischer und Richard Pleuger über Mr. Cast Me, der sich in Hollywood die Beine in den Bauch Dennis y tuvimos la oportunidad de hablar con él. ¿Qué es lo que lo motivó a pintar su auto y hacer esto para conseguir trabajo? En su Woodruff está escribiendo un screenplay sobre qué más. Sus experiencias como un actor luchando. No quiero hacer más documentarios. Vine aquí para ser un actor de cine. Y estas personas me están rompiendo. Estas personas están usando estos documentarios para hacer dinero de actores que están tratando de tener un break. Claro, se termina en la TV y tengo exposición por todo el mundo. That's not giving me what I want. I am a photographer. Uh, I work with uh, European uh, magazine. And I pick uh, in uh, Hollywood with uh, the city, the movie star. I am a color uh, Dennis. He's a folklorist. Life magazine is about life and people. I mean, it's, you know, it's reality. And I think uh, this is a unique sort of... Uh, his, his approach to what he does is unique. We're going to flash Dennis as he's driving, which is going to create a sharp image of the car and Dennis. So it'll be a, um, a high-energy shot. Dennis, funny, funny, funny. Well, I am kind of sick of doing documentaries. I hope this is the last documentary I ever have to do. I shared a scene with Jack Nicholson in The Two Jakes. Look around. What do you see? Strictly class. The light, big tippers. Not only that, they're nice. Jack Nicholson was a great guy. I learned a lot from him in a short time. And I know I can use that later. He's very professional. I'll never give up my dream. Never. My name is Betty Carmen, and I'm Dennis Woodruff's mother. I haven't seen him for probably uh, a year and a half, something like that. I keep busy down here, and we both have our uh, busy private lives. I divorced when Dennis was uh, was young, so he was um, he had a nanny that took care of him uh, for a good share of the the first part of his life until he went to until he went to school. Some parents, you know, can hold a tight string, but with with a person like Dennis, you have to you have to just uh, let him do his own thing and let him be on his own. And I I just really would kind of like to tell you about this shirt because he just decorated it, just wrote Dennis Woodruff all over the shirt and wrote actor and and uh, Hollywood and people, you know, say well that is the most outstanding standing shirt I've ever seen. Where did you get that shirt? So, after a couple of years which, um, of wearing the shirt, I finally decided I would just duplicate it exactly. I did the same writing and I did it just as close as I could to the one that he had done. Nobody said anything about my shirt. Somebody would say, oh, what did you do, Betty? Write all over a shirt? Or with him, they thought it was a professional shirt. Actually, I think mine is like nicer than his. And to tell you the truth, I don't think any either one of them are anything to rave about. But as a kid, I was almost like a Tom Sawyer. I was always trying to ride the raft down the stream, and there was no stream. But I still believed that I could ride the stream, and I wasn't really sure where I was going. But I was always on this incredible adventure. And that's the way I feel about my life. My life is like an adventure. And it'll also be a part of history of Hollywood. We have just acquired a very unique vehicle decorated by aspiring actor Dennis Woodruff. It's an early 1980s Plymouth Colt.
This is just about the wildest car of the collection, and it's also just about the wildest car I've ever seen. And the most logical is for it to go up in our Hollywood gallery that we're in right now, uh, because Hollywood, Los Angeles, and the automobile all grew up essentially together. You have a whole gallery that's just devoted to cars. In Los Angeles, you are what you drive, and I think like most people in Southern California, uh, Dennis does use his car as a means of self-expression. You could just call this a sculpture, a moving, fluid sculpture. I think uh, he's expressing himself creatively, and uh, by definition, I think, I think that makes him an artist. You realize that you're in control of your own destiny, and that nobody else is really in control. So it's up to me to push the button, start, stop, go, to appear in different ways to people, to show people that there's other sides to Dennis Woodruff, that I'm uh, more like a multi-dimensional character, not just what you see is what you get. Maybe there's many facets to who this guy is.